For me, the, the most important thing is that you, you get those six weeks of thickening work in at the start of the season, so you know, either before Christmas, starting in December or starting January. And yes, it's miserable, it's cold, it's horrible, but it, it's really important to put the work in there. So all the hacking work, starting off walking, building up to trotting, the hills are great to get the horses fit. Again, you just got to monitor them uh, each day and just make sure the legs are in good condition, there's no lumps and bumps, and it's just, just being aware of things and you know being observant really. My aim is to get clear inside the time. I don't want to be worried that he's going to be a bit tired at the end of the course. I've got a three day event coming up in a few weeks time and he won't be competing every weekend or every other weekend. Um, I may have to go to the gallops to make sure that he is then fit enough to uh, compete at that one star. And so the aim of uh, today is to just um, stretch him working forwards and being a thoroughbred he's quite a fit horse. So we'll just have a little bit of a, a trot around and again I'm not going to put him under any, any kind of pressure just working forwards. Not put him too deep into the corners and just let him loosen up by himself. Good boy Peter. His weekly routine, so say he's, he is competing, his weekly routine he would certainly hack one day a week, he would school a couple of days, he would lunge a day and he would probably have a have a jumping session as well. So he's covering all the things that he would need to do in a competition you know, and if we need to go cross-country schooling we'll go cross-country schooling or show jumping whatever we need to do for him to be ready for his competitions good boy the old horse like jack for instance in his uh, in his heyday he would probably jump once every 10 days or maybe two weeks. It is important that you jump enough because there are different muscles that they have to use to do the jumping. You have to make sure that um, they, they've done enough that the muscles are conditioned to the jumping, otherwise they get tired with the muscles the more jumping that they do. I would cross country school quite a lot at the beginning of the season, so they, they'd probably go at least twice before their first competition. Certainly with the horses that have, have um, got a bit of experience, just so that they're not coming to the first competition with like a rabbit in the headlights, oh my God, or getting too excited about it that you're not under control. So to go out cross country schooling and get them used to galloping and jumping, getting them in a rhythm, uh, get them jumping into water, going over ditches so that they're seeing all the holes in the floor as well. Um, and then you've got them prepped and ready um, for the first competition. With Peter, he maybe goes to the gallops uh, two, maybe three times before he goes to his first one star in a few weeks time. Once you've got them to a level of fitness, you just maintain that and you just mix the work up with um, hacking, schooling, jumping, um, cross country schooling, whatever the horse needs to have it ready for that competition. 